Hey guys, I'm Kurt with Off-Road Armor. Today we are going to be going over how to install a set of framed upper doors for this Can-Am Defender Max. Now, uh, if you have a single cab, obviously we're going to do the front door first. That's all you'll need to pay attention to. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and mount these doors right here to your existing lower doors. And uh, those are the Can-Am existing lower doors. And so we're going to be mounting it right there. So we'll go through the whole steps and uh, process on how to do that. We're, uh, we're out here today in beautiful Marthasville, Missouri. Actually, we're in between my grandma's house and my, my great grandpa's house here in the town of Marthasville. So um, we're, uh, we've got a beautiful day, let's get started. So your first step is you're gonna wanna make sure you have all the necessary hardware to mount these doors. Um, there is a picture of what you should have on the instructions, so just take a look at that. But uh, your, your second step here is you're actually gonna put these doors, the frame up to the rear part of your door here, and you're gonna make a mark the center of those holes and you're going to drill these holes out. So there's a bracket here, you're going to drill these holes out. Now I've already put the bolts in here, so what I'm going to do is just run those through those holes and put these nylon lock nuts on the other side, get those mounted, and uh, we'll, we'll go on to the next step. We finished drilling the holes and putting the bolts through the, those holes and through the frame, and we put the nylon lock nuts on the other side there. So that's looking good. Now we're going to take this mounting bracket right here, and this is the mounting bracket for the driver's door. Now there's already one hole from the manufacturer. They drill it, I believe it's this one. But uh, we went ahead and drilled another hole right here. And as you can see, that goes right through that bracket right here. So that's, that's great. And uh, we're gonna use this. We're gonna mount this right here. And use the supplied bolts and nuts to uh, fasten that. So we'll do that next. We've mounted that front mounting bracket as you can see right there, but we have left it loose as you can see It's going to be left loose here and our next step is we're going to take this bolt with a washer on it and we're literally just gonna Put it up in this in the uh, let's See if I can do this We're gonna put it up in the frame there So we'll get that screwed up in there and then this frame literally just slides in there so that's why we kept it loose so that we could just make sure it fit in there really well right in there so what we're going to do is get this tightened down to this mounting bracket and then we'll go ahead and tighten those two bolts right here so we'll go ahead and do All that right. so we're at the point now where we've got our uh, uh, mounting bracket on we've kept these loose again that we can adjust this now we've got a mirror on here um, so what I'm going to do is I, I am going to push forward and that's why we've oval these out We're going to push forward on this bracket and then I'm going to tighten it down. So if you want to come in here on the inside and you can see so I'm tightening this down Go ahead and do this one All right, so there we go now this is tight you can see this frame is very tight on this door go ahead and get it shut and uh there you go now one thing i am going to recommend uh these machines have this pro fit cage so i want this to sit back as far as possible in this pro fit cage so what i'm going to do now that everything's tight that bolt is tight these are tight those bolts are tied up there i'm going to go ahead and bend this frame just a little bit i want to bend it in so that it sits up tight on that in that frame all right so again so it sits up tight in that frame we're just gonna i think we can actually bend this a little bit more there we go so as you can see it sits nice up in that frame there and uh it opens and closes really well so it might need a little adjustment when you're done but uh so this is a single cab now the last thing you got to do is is uh put your snaps in so you guys will be drilling those in and then over here you'll put your velcro on the back of your door so we've already done that we've already put the velcro in but you can actually say so you want to close that gap a little bit you can pull this back and we're gonna fasten this velcro pretty tight back here and there you go guys you've got the single cab door installation and uh, Again, these will be real tight once you put them in the snaps, which we've already done. 
but you just screw them in the spot where they are and you're set. Now, um, if you want to zip this door open, you can zip it from the outside. You'll probably be zipping it from the inside, but you can take this door completely off. Say you want to, say you just want to take the door off, keep the frame on, you can. You can keep that frame on, say it's a nice day like today. Keep that frame on. And then you can also just uh, put it back on real easy. Here, see if we can do this. There you got it. As you've got a framed upper door for the Canium Defender. And we've got a really nice uh, enclosure for your machine. So stay warm guys. We'll go ahead and re we'll go ahead in this video and do the back as well. Thanks. Okay guys, so if you're still watching this video, then you have a Canium Defender Max. And honestly, it's uh, the way you mount the back door is pretty much how you mount the front door. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this up here. We're gonna go up, we're gonna mark where these holes are and uh, again I want them to go a little bit higher so they fit in that frame but uh, we've already pre-drilled these holes so we'll go ahead and put bolts in there get that mounted and then we're going to mount the rear mounting bracket down here so if you want to come in close here you can see that we drilled another hole in here so there is one existing hole from the manufacturer already right there and it comes with a bolt and then if you look on the back side of here uh, granted this is our prototype but we've got another hole right there in the bracket so we're gonna go ahead mount this right here and uh, when we put this frame on same thing we've got a bolt that goes in the bottom of here and uh, that bolt's just gonna go up there you'll tighten it down and you're set so again on the max cab it's very similar to how you mount the front again you're gonna put uh, you're gonna put the snaps and the velcro here and you guys you've got yourself uh, a max upper set of frame doors and uh, we greatly appreciate your business. Thank you.